The Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilm are killing themselves. This time, they are spoiling their own show. The upcoming Star Wars The Acolyte series from director Leslie Headland, the former assistant to Harvey Weinstein. Before we get to this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. You can also become a member. Hit that join button. We have a number of options for you to choose from. Would love to have you become a member as we fight against this culture of wokeness that has taken over the West. So let's get into this here. Wrote this up over at thatparkplace.com. And we have this new TV spot. It has since been edited, but not before some sharp-eyed sleuths looked at the captions and saw that Amanda Stenberg's character in the TV spot is identified as a character named Osha as she shouts, I didn't do it. Now you're probably wondering, well, what does that have anything to do with anything? Well, that's because in other previous trailers for the show, Lucasfilm and Disney have been attempting to lead audiences to believe that Stenberg is playing a dark side character named May, who is hunting down and killing Jedi. The Jedi believe that May is the former student of Jedi Master Soul. Given this information, Soul sets out to track down and confront his former student. However, it appears that when she is actually confronted, she didn't do it. And, well, why didn't she do it? Well, that's because it appears that May is the twin sister of Osha, if we are to believe this rumor from Daniel RPK that kind of made its way to the internet back at the end of December. So this rumor was kind of shared to X by Portal Galactico. Uh, it says here, the two, two protagonists of the Acolyte are twin sisters of Sith origin, but one of them falls into the hands of the Jedi while the other stays with the Sith. One sister is good while the other is bad. Amanda Stenberg plays them both and they are both force sensitive. So there you go. And it looks like this is confirmed with the caption describing Amanda Stenberg's character as Osha. Shouting, I didn't do it. While previous trailers have described her as a character named May. Not only do we have this information from Daniel RPK and Porto Galactico, but comicbookmovie.com provide further details about the rumor claiming that one of the twins will be trained by the Jedi while the show primarily follows the other sister who's trained to become a Sith assassin and is tasked with killing Carrie Ann Moss's Jedi Master character. The Sith, the Sith assassin will attempt to kill Moss's character without using a lightsaber, but instead uses martial arts and hand-to-hand -hand skills. Uh, they also talked about Manny Jacinto's character, uh, and Rickman alleges that he, that's Daniel RPK, is Rickman. Rickman alleges that he will play both versions of his own character, one good personality, one bad. So this rumor also came in the wake of one from Bespin Bolton that the Star Wars show was undergoing reshoots in the United Kingdom at a number of locations, including the Rickman's Worth Forest. At those reshoots, Stenberg's uh, character was allegedly playing a Sith character and was in a duel with a Jedi character. Excuse me, Stenberg was allegedly playing a Sith character and was in a duel with a Jedi character. Notably, Bespin Bolton detailed that Stenberg's character was visually different than how she appeared during her, her appearance in a trailer shown at Star Wars Celebration in April. It's also different than how she appeared in costume at Star Wars Celebration. You can see that here. Uh, there she is right there, obviously, in what looks to be a Jedi outfit right there, whereas like other shots have shown her in kind of this dark side outfit, clearly implying that uh, something happened. I guess the implication here is that, that Lucasfilm and Disney would want you to believe is that she turned to the dark side. However, it looks like one is dark side, one is light side. So, uh, Bol Bessman Bolton also said this here. Um, the Sith appeared to be a manless Lindbergh's character, though the appearance of the character is different to the shots of her that featured during the Acolyte trailer shown at Star Wars Celebration. During the Rickman Rickman's Worth shoot, Stenberg's hair was notably longer and was tied in a unique style. 
The outlet continues saying Stenberg's outfit featured a short sleeve, dark gray top and dark gray bottoms with black boots and a piece of black clothing placed over the, over the top of the gray shirt. The black item of clothing that sat over the gray shirt flowed over the actress's back like a cape and appeared to have appeared to have a similar piece placed in front of the outfit that ran between the actress's legs, completing the, that the outfit was a crimson red lightsaber which Stenberg swung towards her co-star. Clearly, that description looks nothing like this outfit here. So I think that Luke's film and Disney have confirmed this major plot twist, and they did it in their own teaser trailer. You literally can't make this up. They are ruining their own show in promotional materials for the show. Another Disney Lucas film. <laughs> screw up uh they really just can't get over themselves there these people cannot stop messing up time and time again they cannot stop producing garbage after garbage time and time again they have a major incompetency problem over there at the walt disney company and lucasfilm and it shows up all the time when they are promoting their products and in their uh, films and television shows. But let me know what you guys make of this. What do you make of the Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilm spoiling their own show, confirming this major plot twist in their most recently released TV spot? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, especially to each other, but to always speak the truth.